The same five that have been out there throughout this six-game win streak. Meanwhile, for Kurt Miller, win over the weekend. Ready to jump, Tom nice. Isaac Barnett and Fatu Sissoko Stevens. Thomas back out as well, but try to limit those touches for Karofsky and Skyler Dickens. Once they get the ball in their hands, Sean, it's deadly because they can see Diggins Smith steps back, can hit. Thomas is down and slow to get up. Rihanna Jones hits the jumper. Jasmine Thomas, who has been struggling with plantar fasciitis in her foot. Kurt Miller wasn't sure if she would even play. Extremely tonight. honest uh, with all of us prior to the game uh, and talking to the media. He said, you know, I don't even know who's starting tonight. We've got a lot of people banged up. Jazz Thomas. Diggins Smith, who had a career, or season high, 30 points. Their team's last win against the Liberty. Thomas working against Turner and floats it up and in. Or even just as simple as the victim of police brutality. Tarasi on the catch and shoot, knocks it down. For Phoenix, Diana Tarasi's averaging 22.5 points per game. She has picked it up to another level in the absence of the bigs as the game. Mercury teammate, Dewana Bonner, with a smooth fadeaway. It's her first basket against her former team. Megan Smith scoops it in. No question, but we've seen that happen with Phoenix over the last few games that you and I have had the opportunity to do. And a nice little up and Tonight. under. Walker Kimbrough anticipates but can intercept. Alyssa Thomas once again. Number of top scoring combos, and you're seeing two of the top five tonight in these two teams, and uh, they have really... Connecticut, right back with Aggressive. Vaughn with four, spins in the lane. Exceptional and from the elbow uh, this year. And right now, while she was able to spin out of traffic and make that Vaughn. shot inside and try to penetrate the lane. Elbow inside the paint, may not be con as consistent as the guards, but she's been a huge piece on the uh, inside game. Great recovery by the defense. Oh, Mia Coffey hits the three. For the shot there on the offensive side for Phoenix on the flip side with six. The, the line for Connecticut, and of course, Phoenix looking for one of those buys in the first round still. Just one game back of Minnesota in fourth place. Dewana Bonner is locked in right now. Continuing on with the play, John, this type of step up, overextending defense beyond the three point line in the last four games at least. Currently on the longest active win streak in the WNBA at six. But that looking like it's very much. Tarasi drives. And yeah, Tarasi, we talk about it taking it off the dribble, working off LaVon, finding that seam to the hoop, protecting the ball. They got for Heidemann. Charles can't lay it in. And now Phoenix going the other way. Tarasi ahead of the pack, fumbles it, but still gets it back. There, made it look easy. Diggins Smith puts it in. Just like that, it's a one-point game at Connecticut. Bonner pulls up and gets the... Selfish, I think, in taking the extra pass. Bonner dancing around. And seven seat at the table. Meanwhile, Dallas, after a big overtime win yesterday against Washington in the driver's seat to also make the playoffs. And off another Phoenix turnover, Layup missed. Nice advantage for Turner, and Powell is up to compliment to the Thomases who come back from last year's championship team. That was 
one win away. To us that when he was with LA back in 2015, they started out 0 and 7, and that team went on to the Western Conference Final weekend that they had bad together. He provided dinner one night out back, and then they went uh, and had a team dinner for this uh, Connecticut Sun team. If they could figure out here as the Phoenix has tied it up. Thomas, then. Jones, final 10 seconds in the second quarter. Bonner dancing, pulls up and knocks it down at the buzzer. One of two players in double figures and leading everyone right now with 15, working off that screen, getting enough cushion. There was no question. Double team comes for Diggin Smith. Walker Kimbrough. I'm trying to release that shot. Getting back to, to Charles and her play on the court as she is on the far side over here. Getting ready to ask players in the WNBA and, and she's healthy and she just makes us all feel that we should be a lot more accountable for our play. Thomas spins inside. Can't get the pretty finish. That Connecticut keeping it alive off the miss. Looking for that outlet as Turner turns back in. Giveaway by Phoenix tonight. Bonner gets her in the air. Couldn't bank it in. Muscling underneath. Kyle and Charles put downtown. They averaged nearly nine made threes a game, which is second in the league. Diggin Smith. That's good. Thomas can't power it through. He's made the most shots within five feet in the WNBA this year, but now applying pressure. And no one coming to help Vaughn as she gives it up. Got the number. Three for 10 from the field with nine points, but every time Diana Taurasi uh, touches the ball, what's going on? But she is a little fatigued right now. The thing with Diana Taurasi is she warms up. A nice job on the steal. Still the number one three-point shooter this season. You know, and I think the other thing here is uh, Phoenix trying to switch it up. Lana Bonner walked that ball up. She has been cool, calm, and collected. And knowing what's on the line tonight, a yeah. Connecticut win puts them in the playoffs. Just transcends to the rest of your Although they never trailed the Sun. It allowed the Mercury to come back a number of times. But it's really been the Mercury have been their own worst enemy, now coughing it up 16 times. January with space. Appreciating crew. I have their seats. I know I got touched. Thomas backing down. Mom Premier muscles it in. Play out the way that the uh, postseason awards will be drawn up for sure. And also the teams that want to get a little extra rest and go straight to the semifinal. Thomas one on one. Thanks, and, and that's probably one of the toughest things when you're guarding Dewana Bonner. Uh, you know, she'll pull the bigs uh, away from the hoop and has that advantage with her long length to then take it to the basket. See what she does here. Whips it inside. And Thomas starts talking about Vaughn. She makes her money on a lot of the slips and mm -hmm. fades. And there have been some great recoveries by the Connecticut. Started with a 9-0 run in the opening minutes of the first quarter. And Connecticut has led ever since. Cunningham and Vaughn have been two key pieces on big comeback runs by Phoenix during their win streak. Can they help out tonight? Thomas has been dominant down low. Diggin Smith freed up. Scheme win streak. Being held at 53 by one of the top defenses. Offensive rebound, Mom Premier poked it in. Question, because uh, Phoenix at this pace, the way that Connecticut keeps attacking them is Comes just... down to who can play yeah. a better 40 minutes those first right. two rounds. Yeah, I totally agree, especially with the format, five through eight. <laughs> it's a good bottle. <laughs> Well, maybe locked into something else at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. She seems to be comfortable with a 12-point yeah. lead. They get nine after Cunningham. Ben Jones periodically, I think, is going to be key down the stretch. Out of the 
quarter. Inside, Jones muscles it in or up with some good looks. Jones wants it again. Great positioning. And at two more. Sun continuing to lead now up to 14. Turner slips inside. You're going to have good results. Kurt Miller felt that if his team got to 10 wins, they'd be in a good place to get to the play. Can't knock it down. Good clean out there by Phoenix. They look to push. Rossi throws it up and hits the and Diana puts it up. You think it's going in? Because you just never know. That is a perfect series. When you think about it, it's, and that makes it fun. I mean, it's great on the scout for the players because they, they know each other's tendencies. You better In the WNBA this year, do the, the postponement of games about two weeks ago. This game pushed back. The September 7th is Bonner. A little flex after the lay-in. And a timeout call the coach wants to see their team have. Yeah, nice job by Thomas as Bonner leaks out ahead of the group. Easy two that forces the time. Cunningham. Off the back iron. And that'll do it. The Connecticut Sun, after an 0-5 start, have fought back and have clinched a playoff spot in the final week of the regular season.